Hello, fellow autocrossers. I um, I was just packing up the car here, and I wanted to make a little video about um, you know what you should bring for uh, rally for uh, rally cross or autocross. But it's autocross is tomorrow, so let's talk about autocross tomorrow. This is a little what's in my trunk situation we got going on here. So uh, here's my cooler. It's got no ice in it right now, but tomorrow we'll have ice and cold beverages, water, lots of water, Gatorade, etc. Here's a big hat. <laughs> It's funny because it's big. Um, a tire pump, always good. My DeWalt one has never let me down. Extra batteries too is a, a good idea. Um, a, uh, uh, a helmet, you're gonna need that helmet. If you don't have one, there are helmets to rent. Uh, you'll just turn in your license at the trailer and they'll let you have a helmet. I got a folding chair down there and let's, let's go through the contents of my autocross caddy, shall we? Um, I have two-in-one glass cleaner, rain repellent, rain -X. It's just glass cleaner with a glass cleaning cloth down there. I have um, uh, rags, you know, and then some detail spray. And that is so, so your numbers, magnets, you can stick them on the side of the car without scratching up your paint, right? Because you don't want to get that dirt off before you scratch them off. Same for tape, too, if you're going to tape on numbers. Bring some sort of cleaner. Clean off the side of your car and, uh, you know, don't scratch your pretty paint. So there we go. I got my numbers now. Um, I got some gloves here. They're just, mine are just mountain biking gloves. I think I'm going to try them tomorrow. I normally don't wear, even wear gloves, but a little extra grip can't hurt. Um, that's camera mount situation. Remember, you can't handhold cameras, or neither can your passengers. So if you want to, um, you know, mount up your cell phone and take a, take a nice video, you can buy one of these. They clamp to your, um, uh, rear view mirror and then you can put a little clamp on it that holds your phone or you can get a suction cup mount there's all sorts of mounts but you can't hold it by hand this is a really important part we got sunscreen here i got spray on i got the spread on i got the bug spray because if you're out working on course you know and you got to stand in the in the uh, tall weeds you know then you're gonna need that we got rags of all shapes and sizes and varieties i got a little blue tape down in there there's a roll of blue tape never be without the blue tape if you're an autocrosser you never know that's a roll of ones right there you can make a nice number one with that roll. So there's a whole bunch of them on that roll, a whole bunch of ones. And we'll just stick that right back down in there. Stick this guy in here. And uh, I know I'm missing something else here, so let's wander over this direction. Take a look at the pretty car. Ah, yes. Dig through your pile of junk. Get you your torque wrench with the appropriately sized lug. What do we call it? Socket. <laughs> with the, the appropriately sized socket. So you can torque your wheels. If you don't have one before you race, ask someone nearby who you see using a torque wrench if you can borrow it. Look up the torque spec online for your vehicle and make sure that your wheels are torqued to spec. Um, another reason why the air pump is so important, you know, avid autocrossers, we want to go up a little in pressure. One pound, two pound, maybe, you know, drain a little pressure. You're going to need a tire gauge for that, right? So uh, you want to have yourself a quality tire gauge. All right, this is a pretty good one. Not great. My other one got broken. Um, again, by me. I'm going to put that in there, and that way I know where it is. But the tire gauge along with this, uh, a tire pump or some sort of air tank, there is a air, I'm going to try to say a compressor, available at the trailer if you don't have something like this. But you're going to want to make sure that your tires are aired up adequately. Um, a few pounds over stock pressure, over the normal stock pressure is what we talk about for street tires but you know if you got these you know these things these stones you spent the money on the, the street class tires or something better right the re71rs the rt660s the list goes on then you know you know what you're doing make sure you've got adequate pressure in them don't run them down real low because they're not going to be super effective if they're real low anyway so there we go um what else am i missing you know you tell me i'm not really sure what else I could need besides that? I could use that. I'd love to have that. But instead, I'm going to have this, which I love as well. But that, my God. That's, that's probably it. I mean, you know, extra hats, never a bad thing. This hat, I don't look as stupid in it as I do the big hat, but the big hat's got to go on whenever, you know, we're standing around in the sun all day. you got to have the big hat. Oh, and a long sleeve uh you know, sun slash sweat t-shirt, you know, those shirts, maybe not t-shirt, but like the, the shirts that they sell, the sun shirts, and I don't know what they're called, but those are good. They keep the sun off of you, um, you know, protect your skin, stay cool, 
drink water, and have fun. So that's what we're going to do, I think. I hope. Uh, I hope we're going to go fast and learn stuff for Nationals because Nationals is coming up. So we got to learn how to drive fast on these new tires. I don't know what you got to do, but that's what I got to do. All right.